So after I selected a good uh, coconut, uh, this is it here. Um, as you see, it's a pretty good size coconut. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do uh, prior to uh, cracking it open is you're gonna want to um, get the coconut milk out of the center of it uh, as uh, it has a lot of nutritional properties uh, that some people like. I personally am not a fan of coconut milk, but my children really love it. And I find the best way to get into it, to get the coconut milk and save it, is to drill a hole into uh, one of the three uh, spots here on the top uh, where it was originally hung uh, from the coconut tree. Uh, I find they were a little bit softer than the rest of the um, coconut, so that way drilling into it's really easy. So after you know, get your drill together, mine's all ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna I, uh, I'm gonna pick this one right here, this dark one, and then I'm just gonna hold it firmly, drill into it. You're gonna probably want to filter your coconut milk, you know, prior to drinking it, just because it does get a lot of, um, you know, crumbs and stuff like that from going into it. And as you see on the counter here, you get kind of a, a good pile of dust from the actual uh, drilling of it. So then we got our cup here, and we're just gonna dump the coconut milk into it. If you're doing other things, you can multitask, let that sit on there, and then, uh, you know, come back when you get the opportunity, and all of it should be in there. So there, now all the coconut milk's out. So this is pretty much just a uh, empty coconut uh, with no liquid in it. So that way when I uh, show you how to open it up, uh, you don't have to worry about splashing coconut milk everywhere. And as you see, we got a nice tumbler cup here full of uh, coconut milk. As you can see, there's some particles floating around in there. And that's why I'd recommend that you, uh, you know, filter it through, um, you know, some kind of filter. Usually a fine mesh, um, like straining basket will work good to strain that. Um, some people might want to go a step further and run it through something like cheesecloth or something like that. Let's uh, show you the quickest way to open up the coconut now. wanted to show you quickly how to get the uh, coconut meat out of here um, as uh, sometimes it can be really difficult and to help you most of the time you're gonna want a couple different tools I'd like to use a pointy knife uh, I got this um, kind of a serrated edge knife but it's also flat and it's rounded on top which is really nice because the rounded edge can kind of go along the bottom of the uh, the actual inside shell and plus sometimes a spoon helps to uh, be able to get it out uh, sometimes it might be necessary to whack this on the ground again to break it into smaller pieces which are a little more manageable. Uh, I'm going to uh, just show you a little bit here and then I'll you know, do the rest off camera and uh, try to show you uh, the finished product and obviously you want a storage container to be able to uh, put your coconut in. The thing that's nice about doing coconut like this, uh, depending on uh, sales that are available at the store, um, it's a lot cheaper to get coconut like this, uh, shred it yourself. Uh, use it, you know, to be eaten just raw or in recipes and, um, you know, like I said, you get the coconut milk. So when you take the cost overall, like I got this coconut for $1.49, which is a really good price for coconut. And you can buy a, um, a six ounce container of coconut milk and it could cost anywhere up to three, four dollars depending on the brand and you know whether it's organic or, or whatever and then a bag of coconut shredded coconut you know could be a couple bucks too so i mean i you're gonna get almost a bag of coconut out of these if you were to shred up the whole thing uh but it's really nice to be able to make home recipes and you know it's all natural and um you put the time and energy into it and that really affects um you know your ability to enjoy your coconut so what i would start to do is i would uh look for a spot that's like this, where you can see the edge, the separation between the coconut meat and the shell. And as you see right there, it's got a little edge. So I look for spots like that to be able to take my knife and try to be conscious with your knife to not poke into your hand. Um, I'm, I'm aiming away, but I'm just gonna kind of wiggle and kind of work it down in. 
and then work along the edge. You see, once you start getting pieces out, it starts pulling away. And then as you work it over, more, more will start pulling away too. And then you'll get bigger chunks. Let's see. If you're going to shred this and put it through a, a processor or something to shred it, it's not going to matter how many small pieces you get. It's just nice if you get big chunks. Makes it easier. Sometimes you get a huge chunk that'll pop off. See, like that's a pretty good sized chunk. And once you expose that inner inner coconut, you got more working room. And again, I said I like to work away from your hand so you're not if you slip, you're not gonna stab into your hand. It is very dangerous, you gotta be careful. So as you see, it can be a little bit tedious. And there you have it. One coconut, out of its shell, ready to be eaten like this, or mixed up, shredded, used in recipes. Um, goes great as an alternative to some of the sweet snacks out there as it's already sweet. Uh, but if you add it to certain recipes like cookies, um, sometimes a little bit of milk chocolate and this go great together. One thing to keep in mind, you got to be real careful um, and chew it properly. Use small bites. Try not to take big bites of coconut because it has a tendency to be uh, kind of thick as you, as you swallow it and the, the risk of choking goes up uh, exponentially. Uh, so I found that like if you're eating it like this, all my family members... Um, really chew it up and emulsify it really good before swallowing and um, it's nice to have a drink handy uh, like the coconut milk that you got out of it or uh, even another you know cold glass of milk um, hope you enjoyed this video thanks for stopping by today and if you have any interest in seeing other videos um, put them in the comment section below and uh, we'll see what we can do about making a video um, for content that you're looking for thanks a lot have a great day folks bye bye